Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. So today I'm out here with Eric. Good morning. We're uh, in the San Francisco Bay and some rivers associated with it. And we're trying to get a sturgeon, maybe some stripers today. That's the goal. So I haven't made any videos in a while. If you guys are from the Bay Area, you know the weather's just been awful. No opportunities to get out fishing. Um, so definitely gonna get out there once we can get some opportunities too. And like today, got rain in the forecast coming up and rain the days before it. So hopefully the sturgeon bite's good today. What do we got for bait? Mud shrimp. I've never used these before. They're, they're alive, slowly moving in there. And then we also got some grass shrimp. So that's what we're dropping down today. Right now we're trying to find some sturgeon. So using the fish finder. And currently we're not marking much, maybe like one or two so far. So we're just gonna go ahead, take our time, try and find some spot, mark some fish, anchor up and get on these. All right, hopefully it's a fun day. Hope we get on some good fish. Stay tuned. Looks like there's some stripers on there as well. Picking up a few marks. So we'll go ahead and, and drop anchor and hopefully we can find some fish. All right, so when you're fishing for sturgeon, a lot of times you're gonna have one of these uh, sliders for your weight. Um, and then you're gonna have some kind of snap swivel there. You're gonna want a steel leader because uh, the sturgeon, their bodies are sharp and they can cut your line. Uh, and then we got a little weight right there to keep our bait down on the bottom. Uh, fishing here in California, you need a barbless hook. So we're gonna go ahead and just start loading it up. Eric's gonna throw the mud shrimp on and I'm gonna use ghost shrimp. Go through this, right? Right there? Yeah, and try and just feed it up the body the best you can. Oh God. So we're gonna go ahead and put maybe five shrimp on here. So then what I have here in my fingers is what they call a bait button, a piece of rubber that we're gonna slide the hook through. And then that should hopefully keep the bait on like that. How does that look? Looks great. Oh yeah, it looks real good. <laughs> so we're gonna use a pyramid weight um, instead of like a ball because this hopefully sticks in the ground a little better, doesn't roll as much. So today I'm using the Akuma Komodo SS. It's the bigger size version, and then the Akuma Monterey. And I'll have some links in the description if you guys are interested. check our drag you actually want it relatively tight because when you set that hook you want to get it you know into the fish the water we're fishing today is brackish so pretty much the only species that we're going to be catching are striper and sturgeon their bites are completely different the striper bite is going to be a lot fast it's going to be quick those fish are picking up the bait and running with it where the sturgeon they're moving up slowly to it sucking it up and slowly moving so you're going to see your rod move a lot slower with the sturgeon bite and right here watch the rod on the left and with this bite i feel like this is a sturgeon bite and you'll see later what both of them look like when we catch each of those fish but for now it's a missed opportunity all right first bites of the day hate's gone hard to know if that was uh Sturgeon or striper, they were littler bites, makes me think that was more of a sturgeon bite. Wow. <laughs> Get our baits back in. Eric's changing his bait out for a new one. I ripped the tail off and added some my bait there. Looks good to me. All right, cast out. So far, one bite. 
and a good two hours of fishing. Hopefully we can get one here. Mm -hmm. You're all wet and can't feel and oh my god, it's a sturgeon. Oh my god, it's a sturgeon. So when you're sturgeon fishing, most of the time you're going to spend a lot of time on the water and today's no exception. So it's good to plan your meals for the day and for lunch today we're having tuna salad and I'm going to be making that on the boat and to me the key to a tuna salad is lemon juice. So I'm going to put lots of lemon juice on it, of course your mayonnaise, your salt and pepper, and I like to add onion and celery. And what's the most important thing to a sandwich? Well in my opinion it's the bread. So we got a nice fresh roll from the bakery. All right, well, it's getting difficult to fish because the tide's changing now. So we're going to go ahead and throw on some striper uh, lures and troll around for a little bit, see if we can get a fish. Uh, it's been too long. I want to just get something. All right, we'll see if we can find a striper. So what would you guys use in there? I recently just got this. We're going to use a JJ bomber. Troll with that. These with a tail on it, rattle trap. I would use diver. this or I would use this with a worm on it. Which one do you want? Alright, well we're going to fire the kicker motor up. We reeled in the lines, got a rattle trap on, and we're at slack tide right now. So we're going to try and troll around and see if we can't get a striper to bite. We're anxious to just try and catch a fish. Nothing on the striper troll, but while we were doing that, we marked a spot with some, uh, looked to be a bunch of surgeon in it. So that's where we're anchored up right now. Gonna cast into this area right out here where we believe there should be some surgeon. Hopefully they wanna eat and hopefully we can get one here soon. All of a sudden, weather's gotten really nice, beautiful out, warmed up, winds died down. It's time to get one. Oh, and the tide has just changed. So it was incoming tide and now it's an outgoing tide. So I'm still using grass shrimp on my rod. Eric, he's trying to up his game and go with two mud shrimp, but we can't get the second mud shrimp on because my miracle thread's too old and it just keeps breaking. So we're trying to spool off the stuff on the end to get to the fresh stuff at the bottom. And while I'm doing that, I get bit. Got him. Got one? Yeah. Got a surgeon? Caught a fish! There we go. That's a keeper size, I bet. Look at that hook job. <laughs> I'm keep it Eighteen and a half incher. We're gonna go ahead and let it go. They gotta be eighteen to keep, so we could keep it. Well, now that we got a fish on board and the skunks off, it's time to go all out for the sturgeon. So we're each gonna put on two mud shrimps on our hook, basically folding the mud shrimp, hooking it on, bait button, another mud shrimp, fold it on, bait button, casting it out there. We should have a good scent trail, some nice bait. Let's get a sturgeon bite. These things stink, huh? Yeah, dude. So now the moment we've been waiting for. First, keep your eye on the rod on the right, and then after that one gets bit, look at the left rod. Thing that got like banned by the FDC. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm getting bit too. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, big one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There we go. Keep it tight. Look, I'm getting bit. I'm like, well, I'm gonna grab that. 
and set it for you. Eric's losing line fast, and I don't know if this is a really big fish or if it's using the fast outgoing tide to its advantage or if his drag's just too loose, but we're gonna have to figure out something. Don't let it take too much more line, baby. Oh shit, it's going fast. Yes. Yeah, I, I tied it up. Let, then, me uh, let me know. Well, you, I'm trying to get the anchor. <laughs> Tighten it up, probably. I need to get the anchor pulled. Anchor's pulled. Dude, uh, he took so much line, right? Uh, I got a lot back, though. I know, but I mean, it got close, right? This is our keeper right here. Hopefully. Right here. Yeah, right here. Oh yeah, it's keeper. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Eric, this is your first surgeon? We we caught an undersized one together before. Eric, first keeper? Yeah, it's just, if it's a, if it's a keeper, it's my first, first. First big one? First big one. There he is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got him. You got your keeper. <laughs> Is that a keeper? Yeah, it's a keeper. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm gonna take, good thing gonna get clean. <laughs> Look at that hook job. Look at that guys. Look at that Eric. Oh my God. That's all it is. You gotta tag it. See that? Hold it up. Are you keeping it or letting it go? I don't know, I wanna keep it. I've never had surgery, what do you think? Is it bad to keep one? No, right? Yeah, you, bought, you, you bought your tag. Yeah, I bought my tag for a reason, dude. <laughs> there you go. Let's do that. Do that. 48. Right, 50. The 48. You go to the fork. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 48, 48. inch. So we dispatched the fish off camera. We are now bleeding it out. In California, you can keep three white sturgeon a year, as long as they're between 40 and 60 inches in length and you have tags. This is the first one Eric's ever kept. I've kept one in my life. We're looking forward to sharing this one with our families. Happy to finally get out fishing and catch one. What a trip. All right, Eric. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Yes. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and head in with this fish now. We're excited as you can see. And if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, later guys. So we're gutting the surgeon here back at the dock. This thing's pretty gnarly, really gross inside. Stunk real bad. Uh, it's, and basically his stomach was full of mud, shrimp, and clams. So it had a good diet. It was a male and it had this big like black line there. I cut it and it was full of water. And in that water, was a little mud sucker fish alive. So somehow this guy was alive inside of the sturgeon. Like, we'll let him go right now. Crazy. See if he swims way out of my hand. See him swim? 